Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about how to create labels and apply them to objects in a version repository. The agenda of this video is to see what is a label, when labels are used and then we will see a demo on creating a label and applying them to objects. What is a label? A label is a global object which can be associated with one or a group of objects in a version repository. Label is used to track versioned objects during deployment, to improve the query results, to associate group of objects for deployment, to associate group of objects for import and export. So when labels should be used? So it can be used when there is a condition when you want to deploy one of your workflow which has associated sources, targets, mapping and session, you can use label for all the sources, target, mappings and session and then you can use the deployment so that it a deployment can be done without breaking any of the dependencies. We can also use label to either select multiple versions or a single version of an object. So as we already discussed, it can also be used for getting better query results. So how a label is created? We just have to go to the label browser, which is present in the repository manager. And we have to click on the version and then go to labels to browse the label. So let's go ahead and see the demo to understand it better. So let's proceed to demo. So for the demo purpose, I have logged into my version repository and I've selected one of the folder and I once I click on so once I click on version, you will see the option labels. So if you click on label, you will see a label <coughs> browser being popped up. So here, if you have a list of labels already created, then it will be listed here in this space and if you want to create a new label you just have to click on new so once you click new you can name your label uh, whatever you wish like i have named it as label underscore one and then you can if you want to provide any additional comments so you can provide the same i will just provide demo and just click ok so once you click ok your label would be created you can see the label here so now let's see how to add uh, objects, uh, apply, apply this label to the objects. So there are multiple ways where we can apply this label to the objects. So if we just go on in our any particular object and then just check the history of that object. So we need to go on version, versioning and then view history. So if you select any version of that, go to tools and then labels, you can apply the label to this particular object. So here you can select the label which you want. So I have created label underscore one. So you can just select this and click OK. So with this, once you click OK, you can see that completed applying the label to the selected object. So this means that this label, uh, label has been applied for this particular object. Okay. So the second method can be using the label wizard. So you just need to select the folder, go to versioning and then click on apply label. So this will be opening the label wizard. So the second method is to just use the label wizard so for this you have to select the folder and then click on version versioning and then click on apply label once the label wizard is open you can click next you can select the folder which you want i'm just selecting folder 2 here you can select many folders or all of them or remove some of them if you want uh, depending upon the use case once you select the folder you can click next 
you can select the label which you want. I'm selecting this label one. And apart from that, you have the option to label all children and label all parents. So in case if you want to add the same label for all the dependent children and parents, you can check both of these options. So depending upon if you want to remove some of them, you can unselect them. Or if you want to select all of them, you can just click the select all option. So once this is done, we can click on finish. So it says that completed applying the label to the selected objects, which means that this label has been applied for all the objects under this particular folder. And uh, along with that, all the dependencies left <clears throat> with respect to the children and parents has also been labeled <clears throat> using the same label. So now if you are doing a dynamic deployment and you want to see what are the objects which are being labeled under one particular label, then you can use query to do the same. So let's see how to do that. So I'll just go to tools and I'll go to my queries. I'll create a new query here. So you can select the parameters as label and you can select your label whatever you want to see and then we can add one more parameter. So I will select the folder name here and I will select say folder 2. So basically once I run this particular query it will be listing all the objects which are having the label as label underscore one. So let me just execute that query. So we see a list of objects here which are having the label as label underscore one. So you can use this while you are doing a dynamic deployment. Also, you can just lock your labels as well. So let me just close this. Okay, so this is my query which has been created here. So now let's see how to lock the particular label. So we just have to go to again versioning and then labels. You can see the label here. You can edit the same. Here you will see the option as lock or unlock. So basically if you check this option, your label will be locked and <clears throat> this label will not be used for any of the objects. So I'll just click OK. So once you <clears throat> do this, you will see the status of this label has been locked. So in this way, yeah, this label will be locked and will not be used by any other user. With this, we finish our demo session. You can try using label and try all the different things which we did in this video today. In case if you face any issues, you can refer to our knowledge base article. The link for the same is given in the slide. Also, you can refer to our command reference guide. The link is given in the slide. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on infasupport. Thank you so much for your time.